Hey guys, Kigo here from Megabyte TV. If you're watching this on my channel, you may really, I highly suggest you check out Megabyte TV, ran by Duncan, or formerly known as Mobile Phone 2003, a network of technology videos by him and along with many others who, you know, are submitting their videos to help out, uh, you know, those people in need who just need a tutorial and, you know, need help with stuff. So yeah, check out their channel, youtube.com slash Megabyte TV. Uh, with that, let's get on to the video. Today's tutorial is on rain meter and how to set it up. How to get the skins and just to look at it, you know, what it is. It can be a quick one, but, you know, a lot of people always been asking, how would I use, customize my desktop, stuff like that. And, um, Rain Meter is a really awesome one. Now, if you go to the site, and I'm going to give you the link in the video description, uh, there's Rainlander and there's Rain Meter. Make sure you download Rain Meter. Rainlander is a calendar. You can download them both if you want. It's up to you. Rain Meter, once you install it, um, you're going to want to get a skin to, uh, you know, customize it to your liking. So, they have a site here for, um, skins. It's customize.org slash Rain Meter. They have a lot of skins here, but I prefer uh, I prefer to go on DeviantArt, and they have that link down here. If you just go to other sites, it says DeviantArt. That's user uploaded skins, and they have really cool ones like Enigma. I used that one before. I, right now, I'm using one called Dexter to match my you know whole theme of my computer. And uh, Rain Meters are simply widgets. Uh, you know, CP it has uh, stuff like monitors, like CPU usage. Uh, they have all these really cool widgets, uh, and they just really customize and bring theme or you know a whole theme to your computer. So with that, um, I'm going to show you my theme, or my rain meter. Um, actually, first I want to show you how to download a skin. So once you get the skin, you're just going to want to open my computer, which I have open right here. And you're going to want to go to your uh, your drive, your main drive, whatever you're on, you know. And I'm, uh, I happen to be on my SSD, so I'm going to click SSD. Go to Program Files. Um, go after this, we're going to go to Rain Meter. And hit Enter. And then from Rain Meter... Uh, they have a couple folders here, and you just want to click on skins. Yeah, uh, from skins, and why is that not loading? Okay, there you go, sorry. Skins, you have all your skins right here that I've downloaded. I have one called Tranquil, Enigma, and Desktop that I'm currently using. Uh, once you get the theme, they usually come in zip files. Unzip them, and they usually come into one big folder that you just want to drag out here into your Rain Meter Skins folder. Drop it in here, and it'll be enabled ready in the program. So from here, you're just going to want to take the program, and or the skin, I should say, and, you know, double-click it, check if everything's in there. Usually come with INI files, system files, notes, uh, stuff like that, and wallpapers. So this is everything that's in that folder. So again, extract the file, put it in the J, pro or whatever your drive is, program files, rain meter, skins, drop your theme in there. And now let's get to the actual program. So I'm just going to minimize everything here. And I'm going to click on my dock here, rain meter. Now, I believe it's only for Windows. I don't think they have any, like, Mac versions or stuff like that. But Okay, so it opens in this little system tray icon right there, and that's it right there. It doesn't take up too much space. Um, and simply, they have all your themes, or your current enabled widgets right here. You can edit it, close skin, etc. You can even make your own skins if you want. They have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, mainly, you're going to go to configurations, find the theme you want to use, or, you know, and grab the widget out there. So if I wanted to put this coffee cup that came with the theme, I can just click here and click coffeecup.ini. And out comes a coffee cup, and you can just drag it wherever. It's really cool. Just add stuff like that. But uh, some themes, you know, just have decorations. Some themes have stuff that you can actually edit. Um, like mine, Dexter, Des Dexter came with a PNG file, which you can actually edit in Photoshop. And uh, it shows notes, to-do list. And I'm going to drag over here so you can see that here. So this is my other monitor. And on this one, I have, obviously, the notes. And it says, as you see, to-do... Um, list of stuff so I don't forget in the morning, uh, and just quotes in my school list so I know all my classes and stuff like that. And there's some other decorations I decided to add, and I can even put text on the sticky note, you know, I can put the calendar on here on the sticky note. I can put, you know, a whole bunch of other, um, skins on there. And they all, they can be, you know, um, multiple skins, so I can have one skin of Dexter, I can have one skin of Enigma, just different widgets from different skins, and it all works out. Uh, so, really cool stuff, guys. Um, I suggest also reading lifehacker.com. They have uh, current, they, you know, they have posts of desktop of the week, and usually desktops of the week uh, have uh, using Rain Meter. They have cool new ways to use Rain Meter, new skins, new widgets, all this cool stuff. So, again, check it out. Links in the video description, guys. If you're watching this on my channel, check out Megabyte TV. If you're watching this on Megabyte TV, be sure to check out my channel. All links will be in the video description to the right of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, catch you next time.